Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to do this video earlier, but I've been um playing of this um Xbox One X for um about um three weeks or so and got a little more information than before, but that's not the point. Guys, today I'm gonna show you the good and bad and the ugly part about the Xbox One X. Okay, let's go to the video guys. <laughs> first and I'm gonna um, then I'm gonna show you the ports okay so this is relatively small and I like the, um, the black color and it doesn't take a, a damn much room it's like very small to show you how small it is it's almost as big as my iPad but it's like a little bigger I think it's uh, as it's as big as my iPad, my dad's iPad Pro I think yeah so that's how small it is okay now let's go over the ports here is the power button. It's gonna light up if um it turns on. We're gonna show you that in a second. Then here's the USB port. Okay, guys. So this is the power cord. This is the HDMI out, and uh, this is the HDMI um in over here. And here is uh, some another USB ports, and then they have the IR out. Then most importantly, they have the Ethernet. They have the, they have the internet for all the gamers. They have the Ethernet. By the way, guys, there is this optical drive that you can put in the movies. You can even play 4K movies, so let's put that in. By the way, guys, if you like these kind of videos, subscribe because we post four um, gaming videos and tech videos every single week. Okay, guys, now let's talk about the user in interface. It's, um, it's really easy to figure it out, but once you get used to it, it's going to be really easy. But this is your home and stuff. Then they got, it says, uh, my games and apps. We're going to click that. Then it shows you all the games, guys, that you have. And there's also some options over here. Yeah, and we have large tiles, but I choose large tiles because I don't have that much games. There's uh, medium tiles and also small tiles. Because if you have small tiles, then you can um, choose that if, um, to see all your games. Because if you have a lot of games, then you can't do it in large tiles because it's going to be hard. And they also have um, the, this. It's Xbox One X. X and enhanced games. So these are all the Xbox One X enhanced games. So that's um really cool. And and now they have all the apps. They even have Cortana, Mixer, and then once you go down, then you have YouTube. But you can live stream on um, YouTube directly. But there is another way to do it. But it's actually um really complicated. Okay, so now they have they have also these apps. They have like Mixer to um, check who's like streaming or anything. Okay, guys, then they have the community tab. That's when they have Facebook, any social media, and sometimes when your um friends do like um screenshots or like broadcasting anything. So that's basically the com the community tab. Then the next is more important, the Game Pass tab. They they have all the games in the Game Pass, but in the Game Pass, then you have to play um ten dollars every month. And here are like all the games in the Game Pass. We're not gonna go all of them, but here are all the games that you can um pick. The thing about the Game Pass is, it really changes the Xbox One X. The reason is, even though that you have to pay $10 every month, it is really worth it because then you get 190 games um, to download. The thing is, to download, you get, to download your games, it's going to um, go directly to the hard drive and then directly to the Xbox. And then once um, the storage is full, then you can um, delete um, some games and replace some new ones. Okay, then once you press the home button again, then you have the home, then you also have over here your friends online, so you can see all your friends online, and then over here, I think this is where you start a party, and then you can look at your um, um, recent um, invitations, 
then over here then you have your all your achievements you can look at all of your achievements guys then once we go all the way over here then you have your um conversation so if you want to message your friends then you can do that all the way um over here guys then next here is a broadcasting capture um this is how we um we recorded our xbox because we had a usb flash drive Okay guys, so you can um broadcast a mixer. Is that is just that that you can't um broadcast um to you directly to YouTube. We're gonna um talk about um that later. Anyways, guys, like this is where we get you know capture our stuff. Then over here, it, you can change the settings and stuff. These are settings. So if you click settings, then they have all the stuff. They have uh, account the network and the network system they have literally everything over here that you can change okay guys now let's talk about the most important part the gaming okay guys so the gameplay on the system is really smooth and in some games you can play native 4k and then in some games they give you other options and let's say in high frame rate which is 60 frames um per second and then the last one is they give you enhanced visuals because like it's got it's really it, lo it looks really good guys so if you're playing um some racing game it's it's gonna look more realistic let's say like Tom Raider is gonna look really good it just look it just um looks really smooth guys okay so the textures um from the shirt it looks really nice and the skin it just looks um really um real and same thing of the um the car the car has like um nice textures as well because it looks like um real um it looks like it, you're it looks like you're playing the game in like real life or something so yeah it looks um really good so if you're um you're playing Tom Raider or Mo uh, or Forza Horizon um seven if if it's enhanced then it looks just um really good guys and it and that's how it just like beats all the other systems because it can play in native 4k that's how powerful it is well speaking um about um the xbox power let's talk about uh, the specifications okay so the reason um the xbox one x has all this power is because it has a core um custom design cpu at 2.3 gigahertz which is re re um pretty good then it has um Jaguar graphics card and it um has six teraflops of um graphical performance. Okay, so um, it has twelve um gigabytes of um GDDR5 RAM, which is um the highest RAM of all the consoles, and and, and it also has one terabyte storage, which is which is really good. Then it has 4K um HDR Blu-ray drive, support native 4K gameplay as well. And because of this power, that's how um, we can play the games in 4K. The, con the gameplay was really nice. I really liked the gameplay. Okay, guys, so that was all the, um, the good parts. Now we're gonna, I'm going to tell you the bad and the ugly. Okay, so to capture um, your video, you need to go to bro um, Broadcasting Capture. Then it's going to say Advanced Settings. You want to click that. And then it's, it's, um, it says Record That dur Duration two minutes and then it says in um internal let's say it's gonna um, record on the hard drive but let's say if you have like 500 gigabytes of storage you um you you can say oh i'm gonna record i'm gonna record a lot of gameplays no you cannot do that guys look see i want to do it to like um 30 minutes or so let's say and then it's the max is on uh, it's only two minutes but let's say if you want to um to record up to one hour then you need um, a USB um, flash drive, a USB storage um, flash drive. It has to be 3.0. So um, you want to plug in um, your USB storage. By the way, guys, the worst part for me is that then you cannot stream to YouTube. You can only stream a mixer. How crazy is that? Even though you're, you're signed into the YouTube, no, it won't let you stream for some reason. Okay, so let's go to um, capture and then broadcast. Celebrate broadcast. See, it's preparing our broadcast. See, and it says start broadcast. And what does this say? Mixer. And once I try to go up, you can't change it. So you can't change it. You can only live stream the mixer. How crazy is that, guys? 
I know you guys in the um the comments you're telling me to stream the mixer, then um then go to Omelette Arcade, then to YouTube. So you have to get three apps, three apps to just um go, um do a uh, po post it to YouTube. I don't I'm not um saying about that. I wish there was like a button that you can just go on a game, let's say for Fortnite, then you can um just put a title, click a button, then it's gonna live stream. That's all I'm asking. So in the future, um, um, they should add that. That like the um, the gameplay is good and the user interface. I give it ten points. This uh, the recording is so so. But the worst of all is the live streaming. The on the five hundred dollars, it was um really um worth it. But the live streaming, they sh um they should really fix that. So no offense, but like the, I give it ten out of ten. The gameplay and the user interface. If you get used to it, then it's gonna be really nice. Then once um you record um it is um I, I it's I give it. It's 5 out of 10 because then you need a USB flash drive. But other than that, the live streaming to YouTube is literally the worst. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I just, I love the Xbox resolution from the screen. It's really um nice guys, but other than that, the, the sharing um, to YouTube is the worst. And um, guys, um smash that like button, subscribe um and for more videos, and see you next time for another video. Bye guys!